I really love first impressions, but there's just something awesome about watching a video where somebody has thoroughly reviewed a product and just getting their opinions about the good, the bad, and everything in between. And that's what I have done in this video. So I really hope you guys enjoy. And if you want to skip the tutorial, just look in the description box for the timestamp. Enjoy! Hey guys! How are you? I'm good. I hope you are too. Nicole here. And yeah, we've got, again, another exciting review, but this time we have a 48 day review. Okay, so you see here, I bought this on 10, 14, 17. Here it is, the Tarte Magic Star Collector Set. It was $49. I know it's backwards, you guys. I have to get a new camera, but um, yeah, so it's $49. So that means that I have been testing this for 48 hours days so you guys are going to get the most real review that there is out there on this palette because i have been testing it for so long so um yeah i'm starting with a bare face today well almost bare because i just want to quickly show you guys this little thing in action because it comes with a lot like you get in here you get i'll show you real quick you get two blushes, a bronzer, a highlight, and 25 eyeshadows. So this here, this is a matte blush. This is a shimmer blush. Get a bronzer down here. Get a glossy lip, and you get a liquid lip, a matte liquid lip. Obviously, it's matte. <laughs> um, and then their mascara and their eyeliner. So you really get a lot in here. So it's $49, but you get like clearly like a face almost because all that I have on my face right now, I did my foundation, obviously, concealer, and eyebrows. So real quick, I'm using, I'm testing out this Clinique Beyond Perfecting um, Foundation and Concealer in the shade 0.5 Breeze. I'm using this Naked Skin Concealer, which I'm testing out as well. This is relatively new to me, and this is in the shade Fair Warm. And then, I don't know if my e.l.f. haul is up yet, but there will be a haul if it's not up already. Um, and in that, I got this little eyebrow pencil, and I used that today because I'm, I did the haul, but then I'm going to do an update to that haul to let you know how everything performs, how I like everything. But yeah, this worked good today. It, was, it made my eyebrows a lot quicker to do because the pencil is not as skinny. I usually use the NYX uh, Micro Brow pencil um but today i thought i'd try this and i liked it it's in the shade taupe so that's good but yeah i primed my eyelids already with the smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer which this is brand new it's only my second time using it but i'm liking it so far for sure so yeah let's just um do a little you know show and tell so you guys can see how this performs on my face and then at the end we'll get the uh final thoughts i'll do swatches for you guys and then you'll get the 110 percent real lowdown on this palette so let's get going okay so let's start with the eyes i already set my eyes there's no name so i'm just gonna have to show you <laughs> this is awkward though picking up this big thing okay so I already set my eyes with this color. Now I'm going to use this color right here as a transition shade. I swear, I'm not going to have this color much longer because I love this as a transition color. I use it so, so, so much. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to last, honestly. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my Morphe M504 to do this. You guys know that is my favorite brush as of lately to do my transition shade. I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to use my Morphe M518. So I'm going to focus this color. Oh my god, you guys. There's shade names. I just realized this. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay, so this shade is called Euphoria. With this brush, it's just going to allow me to focus this more in the crease. I'm not going to take this up as high as this shadow here right here festival if you guys can't see it these are set up to like 
tell you what colors go together. So you see this this line, you know, goes together to make a whole look. It's like brownish. Same with this. This line is purple. Then we have a green line and then a blue line. So you don't have to, if you don't know what colors go together, this makes it really, really easy. It just lays it out for you. Like, here you go. <laughs> Here's all the colors you need to make a decent eye look. So I really like that about it. So I'm just gonna take this color and I'm gonna focus this on the outside V of my eye here. I'm gonna pick up my Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush here. Let's go for it. I'm feeling a little more color today. So we're gonna take this shade called Lavish, right here. This dark green down here. And I'm gonna put this just right on the outside V of my eye. Now since I added that green, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm gonna take my transition color back on that Morphe M504, and I'm just gonna blend out these edges up here. I'm feeling my wrinkles here. If you saw my last video, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this gold shimmer here, right here. So I'm gonna take that first with a flat shader brush. I normally, like you guys know, always use my finger or wet it, but first I'm just going to use the brush just so you guys can see because this one works pretty good with the brush. A lot of shimmers don't. A lot of shimmers you like absolutely have to use your finger or fix plus or it's not going to show up at all. So that's what's nice about, you know, some of these because I mean, look, if I wanted to, if I didn't want to be so bold, I could just leave it like this. But you guys know me, I always have to make it bold. So I have to have as much shimmer as humanly possible. I'm just gonna put some on there. And of course, this definitely brightens it up. You know I have to wet it. <laughs> that definitely amped it up. But then a trick you guys should always do after you wet it and apply it, I always go right back in with my finger because the shadow is still like a little bit wet, you know? So then some extra eyeshadow will stick to it really good so that is a little trick that I always always do that just really intensifies it okay okay I'm gonna actually pick up another shade another sparkly shade we have this greenish sparkly here called brooch oh my god I just dropped it I thought my life was over Okay, everything's okay. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. We're going in with this green shade right here called Brooch. I'm just gonna use this to kind of blend this and this together. So you see now we're going from the gold sparkly to the green sparkly to the green. Now, pick up that Morphe M504 again, pick up my transition color, and then one last time here. Let's blend everything out. So yeah, as you can see, we got this beautiful little eyeshadow going on here. It blended beautifully. The shimmers, you really don't even need to wet if you don't want to. You can use a brush with them, which I know some people don't like to use their fingers. So that's a plus with this. Um, so now let's do the bottom lash line real quickly. So basically, I'm just going to um, throw on all the colors I used up here. I'm just going to throw that on my lash line real quick. Next up in here, they, it did come with an eyeliner. It looks like this. It's just a regular twist up black eyeliner. Most of the time, I just do a little bit on the top lid, which I'm about to show you. Okay, so. 
When I do black up top, I do it on the bottom too. I have one from um, Too Faced that I've been trying and um, I would say that one is a lot better than this one, but. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> really, Nicole? Really? Wow. Wow. I am a bozo. Now I have to go get some powder to fix this. Mm. But you know what? Let me do my mascara first since we're working on the eyes. Well, no, we need to highlight my brow bone. And a lot of times what I like to do, guys, is use the highlighter that I'm using on my face. I will use that to do my brow bone as well. Sometimes I just think it, you know, ties the whole look together. And this highlighter is like on the more like golden side, I would say. So I'm going to take the highlighter in here, right here, and I'm just going to do my inner corner and my brow bone with it. As far as this mascara goes, guys, I am a huge fan of this. So my um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise is my go-to, my favorite. I've been so obsessed with that. But since I have gotten this, let me tell you, I reached for this just as much as I reached for my Lash Paradise. Like, honestly, like I'm going to buy the full size of this when this runs out. This is what it looks like, guys. It's called their Tardis Lash Paint. This is what the wand looks like. So with this mascara, I don't have to go in and like wipe the sides off, whatever. I take this out and just go. With my Lash Paradise, I do this with a lot of mascaras. I like to, you know, wipe off the excess, blah, 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 so it takes a little bit longer. This, I whip it out and I go. And it doesn't flake on me. It just, this is a really good mascara, as you're about to see. So, okay, I'm not totally in love with the eyeliner. Like, there's better eyeliners out there, but this is a mascara that is, like, seriously, like, bomb. To me, this is better than the uh, Roller Lash and also better than the Benefit. They're real. Better than a lot. This is one coat, if you guys can see. I'll try to get a better angle. I mean, you get volume, you get some length. This does a good job at like separating your lashes too. I'm just a big fan. This is a good bottom lash mascara too. It doesn't like get everywhere. Well, it's everywhere over here right now, but that's because I was poking myself in the eye. But I'm going to go clean this up real quick where I, you know, I have mascara everywhere. I can poke myself in the eye. I have eyeliner on my freaking cheek because clearly I just, you know, don't have it together today. <laughs> I just poke myself in the eye again. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to get you a good angle on these lashes, girl, because you've got to see them. I forgot to do a close-up that day, you guys, but... This is the same mascara, just a different day. But God, you cannot deny those lashes. Okay, I'm back. So let's um, warm up my face because I'm a ghost right now with eyes. So let's take the bronzer um, that comes in here. This little baby right here. And let's bronze up my skin. Give me some color. We're gonna use my Real Techniques blush brush. Bronze up. Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, that is a nice bronzer, as you can see. Let's do a little bit of contour there. As you know, there is not a contour 
in this palette. I can't contour with this bronzer. It's too warm. So I'm just going to dip into my Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I just use this color in the middle here. So I'm just going to contour just a little bit. Let's do some blush. Um, I'm feeling the... Well, no. We do highlight first. I always do my highlight before I do my blush. Because I feel like if you do that, that way when you do your blush, it is kind of blending in your highlight. So that way it doesn't look like your highlight is just kind of sitting on top of your skin. You put that on, then you put your blush on, and that kind of blends in the highlight a little bit. It makes it look more natural, more like you're kind of glowing from within a little bit. And, you know, you're less likely to have that strip of highlighter just sitting on your face. So that's what I like to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the highlighter in this palette, hit the tops of my cheekbones. Sometimes I like to hit the top of the eyebrow right here. And that just gives you an extra little glow. Girl, we are glowing. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. If I forgot to tell you guys, you can see how pigmented this highlighter is and I don't even have like bright light shining on me I'm just in front of my window honestly <laughs> I mean that's just telling you how yeah how good this is like I don't even have the bright lights on me so yeah mm-hmm 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 Okay, now let's go to blush. I think I'm gonna use the matte blush in here cause you know, we're pretty glowy. We got a lot going on in the eyes. So let's just take the matte blush in here. Uh, on my Real Techniques blush brush, hit the apples on my cheeks. This is pigmented so I had to like knock a bunch off and I'm still getting this little glow here. This blush is seriously beautiful. I mean, look at that. So, like I said, this kind of blends in your highlighter, too. That's so glowy! A little trick I like to do sometimes is I will take, like, barely any of another color blush and just, like, hit... Ooh, right here. Right here in the apple. I don't know. I think it just gives it a little something to have just one more little pop of another color so i took the shimmery one there like barely anything on my brush and that just gives it like a oh hello <laughs> do you see me i see you <laughs> let's set my face real quick before we do the lips oh my god it's hard to like shake this and fan myself with this at the same time. <laughs> it's like my arms don't want to do it. Shake, fan. <laughs> this is difficult. Okay. <laughs> so it does come with two lippies. You get the tart. Tardis Glossy Lip Paint, which I freaking love this. I love this so much. The color is awesome. The formula is awesome. This is in the shade Myth. Then you also get Tarte Tardis Lip Paint. This is a liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Castle, I think. This is like a um, nude, but this has like a brown undertone. So I'm going to swatch this for you guys. But I am going to put on this lip gloss. Let's do that. I use this all the time. I'm like running out of it. Because this is just awesome. I love this so much. That is my problem. Okay, this is what it looks like. Okay.
Okay, you guys, this is it. The finished look. So, okay. Do you guys like this? Do you see the colors of the bronzer? The the blush girl do you see this highlight i am glowing from space i mean you just can't deny this you can't deny it <laughs> let's take a step back let me take my ears off and let's get some final thought and um see what my overall opinion is after using this for 48 days. Hey guys. Okay. Final thoughts about this guy. I really like this. I think that it is so worth the money, you guys. Seriously. And it comes with so much. I mean, you get 25 eyeshadows and it's only $49. Most high-end palettes these days are that price for half of the amount of eyeshadows. You don't get everything that you get in here. I mean, think about it. Two lips, a matte or a gloss that you want, an eyeliner, a mascara, your bronzer, your bronzer, your brush, your brush, oh my God. <laughs> your bronzer, your blush, your highlighter, like I said, mascara, eyeliner, lips, and 25 eyeshadows that are awesome. These eyeshadows, guys, are awesome. They're very consistent. There's maybe like one or maybe two that don't swatch as good as the rest, but on the eye, you can make them work. But other than that, you know, the eyeshadows are beautiful. They blend like a dream. They really do. They work really well together. I've used this in combination with other palettes, and it works awesome too. The shade range in here is awesome. You can make so many different looks with this you know i like the fact how they set it up like i said earlier for people who maybe don't know what colors go together you have what one two three four five different eye looks here that they put together for you mix and match like i did today there's just so many options you guys like I've been testing this for 48 days. You don't have no idea how many eye looks I've made. And this is all inclusive. You don't need anything else except this. You know, like, like I had, what I have on earlier. Eyebrows, foundation, and concealer. I mean, almost everything is in here. This would be amazing for traveling. Like, if you're going traveling, this is what you need right here. This has, you know, like everything that you need. Everything in here performs really well. I know that sometimes holiday palettes are maybe not as good as their, the original palettes, um, but in here, the shadows are very good quality. The eyeliner is not my favorite eyeliner ever, but it works. It looks good, you know what I mean? It maybe takes a minute to warm up a little bit, but it definitely works. I use it. Um, the mascara, I love it. I will be buying the full size. And um, the blushes, I love both of them. I like that you get a matte and a shimmer, so depending on what you're going for. And then what else we got in there? The lips. You can do a matte lip or a glossy lip. So I just think that this is such a great value for your money. If you're looking for a holiday kit this season, I think that this is a really good option if you like these heart eyeshadows. They didn't skimp out, you know, and make this shitty just because it's a holiday palette. They did a really good job. So, I mean, as you can see, the look that I made today... I use this all the time, you guys, seriously. Ever since I've got it, I pull this out all the time. I'm like, oh, what am I going to wear today? Oh, I don't know. Pull this out, and I got everything I need. You know what I mean? Quick, easy, bam, everything's right here. I don't have to think. Everything goes together. We've got the Tardis Glossy Lip Paint right here. I, like, didn't even want to swatch it because I don't want to waste it <laughs> because I love it so much. So that's right here, and it's in the shade Myth. Tardis Lip Paint. This is the matte um, liquid lip, and this is in the shade Castle. And then we've got the Shimmer Blush right here, which I love this tone. It's like a light 
pink, but it's kind of got like a peach shift to it. It's really beautiful. And then this is the other blush. Oh my God, that is so pigmented, you guys. Well, you saw in the tutorial, it is insane. I mean, look at that swatch. The highlighter, which, yeah, you know the power of that. <laughs> if you uh, watched me putting it on earlier. And then this right here is the bronzer. In swatch, you might look at it and say, ooh, that's, you know, pretty warm, but it looks good um, when you put it on. So, as you guys saw earlier, Earlier. Most of the shadows don't even have any kick up and the ones that do okay you know there's a little kick up in Pam but seriously I forgot to mention it earlier I had like no fallout on my eyes you know honestly. Um, I would never ever recommend something to you guys that I don't think is good so you guys can trust me and take my word I have been testing this out for <laughs> what well, almost two months for you know 48 days I've been testing this I'm not working right now due to some medical conditions so I have nothing better to do than sit around and play with makeup so <laughs> trust me you're getting um, a really good review when you watch me I know what I'm talking about I have tested so much and that's this is my passion this is what I love to do so you know, I really, really try to find the best of the best and try it out. And this is the best of the best of holiday kits. Um, it truly is. So if you guys are in the market looking for something, you know, maybe a gift for somebody, a gift for yourself, this is a great option. Um, I have used like every single shade in here uh, in the past, you know, however long I've got it, um, as you can see. But yeah, I really don't know what else I can say about it except that, yeah, it's got my stamp of approval. It's a yay, not a nay. <laughs> so yeah, you guys should definitely go check this out. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I also have some other reviews up on some other holiday palettes. The Smashbox um, drawn in, decked out blush, contour, whatever else that says. Uh, I reviewed that one as well. So go check that out if you want to see my thoughts on that. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.